Please tell me your name. Uh, Eric David Miller. Okay, yeah. very good, thank you. And, um, okay, so, so my... You're looking at in, into the camera uh, or what? Yeah, if you can just look at look at me, I'm sitting here behind the camera. And um, I think that it's going to be, uh, I'll be able to pick up your voice, but if you can you know, speak a, maybe a little louder than normal. Cause to overcome well, this the isn't normal, so it's normally this loud. But yeah. And I'm sorry, I'm such a mess. I've, just, I've been raking and trying to organize all the leaves of the grass today in the park for, well, actually, I've been doing that for the last 12 years. Uh, okay, it, it's looking good. <laughs> That's what I do. It's my mission. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So now let let me ask you this: If um, if you had a chance to go to heaven and come back, yes, would you do it? I've already done it. You have. I was eight. Okay. Do you yeah. want to do you want to explain it? Um. Well, I was supposed to be shared with the world. Uh, you know, I was very young back then, and uh, had an accident and went through the tunnel and. You know, there's some immense evil on this side, and there's a little pinpoint of light all the way up there. Um, I'm glad I wrote it all down because it was quickly erased from my memory. Um, I think we're supposed to know that when we're in the machine. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I uh, went through, uh, struggled. Uh, there was immense, uh, just wow, it was amazing. And then, you know, I saw some libraries, this and that, were eternal. Uh, yeah, I was also kind of odd how, you know, we're not, these aren't our bodies. We do this, we dance, we laugh, and uh, we learn. And uh, and then, yeah, I met somebody who wasn't God. Uh, he was somebody below. I don't know, I think how we kind of associate, like, with Jesus or the Holy Spirit or whatever religion you are. Um, said it wasn't time yet, and, uh, and then I came back. So, um, like I said, it was uh, kind of a race within, you know, just hourly going away. Um, and then once I wrote it down, then I'd remember it that way. Um, and I didn't know anything until I was like uh, 10, I think it was 10 or 11, and I went involved in bookstores, and I picked up this book and it talked about this tunnel, and, and that's when I was like, wow, you know what I mean? This, um, I mean, I knew it happened, um, but yeah, then there was that evidence there too, so yeah. So, okay, so when you had this experience, did you, I mean, what kind of emotion did you feel? Was it, were you feeling love or warmth, or was it, uh, did you feel like maybe you were trespassing? Um, well, I call them uh, gifts now. Uh, back then they were curses. Um, at 12, the phone rang, and, you know, that's my cousin who's just killed. Uh, and I wasn't allowed to remember back then. And so, and so the, you know, they, they worked in different ways where uh, you would become so angry. Why would you give me these gifts? Or did they just to hurt me? Uh, and so I turned away from God for a long time, and uh, it was a struggle. Uh, you know, I just kind of went into and ignored that realm. Um, yeah. And but you know, it always kind of still glimmers through in this and that. Uh, and uh, yeah. Oh, well, that's kind of my story. Okay. So you mentioned gifts. How how do you define gift? Um, well, when I have gone through what I gone have gone through, and in life people will tell you, oh, you know, you're, you're too tall, you're too tall, you're too short, you're too fat, you're too small, you're too black, you're too white, you're too this, you're too, and they put you into this, and when you can't look into a mirror anymore, uh, you know, because you're not that and this, and you can't please everyone, I mean, it gets to a point where, uh, you, uh, I've always said that, uh, when God closed the door, he uh, opens a window so you can, you know, jump the fuck out and kill yourself or you can uh, uh, move on and go through another door and this and learn from the lesson. So, uh, when I was kind of pushed into um, what you should do, you know, I should go to college, you should meet someone, you should settle down, you should buy the house, you should buy the car, you should have this, and, you should have, and everything should make you so happy. And when I'm this happy, I mean, I was happy with my house this now with the remodeling and, you know, the fish and that. Uh, but, you know, it's getting, you know, bigger and bigger, uh, and just turning to alcohol and cocaine, and, uh, yeah, so I wasn't happy because I had denied myself kind of spirituality, you know, um, because of this, uh, church, uh, the jury's, my jury's still out on that one, uh, but that has really destroyed millions and millions of people, the faithful, um, and so I'm, you know, kind of, 
<laughs> uh, I, I didn't even answer the question. Let me keep going. Because, so the gifts. Yes, uh, the gifts. So yeah, so I, I kind of you know went through all of that uh, pain. Uh, I see things. I see the beauty. I see so much. I think more than what everyone else just sees. You know, but I mean, I can see and. Anyway, uh... So, so, so this experience changed, you feel like it gave you maybe a different vision than what you had previously? Or what you might have had without? When I, uh, lost everything that I spent years building, and, uh, you know, the boyfriend at the time was paying 500 bucks, and my mortgage was 1800 and the, you know, the heat was 300 in the water, and I just, I'd never had an equal, I never had a partner, and I always kept people at a distance because people hurt me. Um, even my best friend had almost 10 years at that time. Um, and when it crumbled and fell and I couldn't do anything, and people also need to realize that too. Forgive Bill and uh, the ones with a little fish on their car are sometimes the worst. Um, one person judges us. No one has a right to judge or say or this or that. This is the way it should be. Um, no. Uh, because that person that had harassed dozens of other people, um, you, you affect lives, you affect dreams, people kill themselves because of you. And, uh, people, I wish, would maybe see that sometimes, and, you know, versus 40, 50, 60, how many years we have left. Uh, so yeah, so, you know, that all fell down, I went through a struggle, uh, the lies, the hate, I would go out and people would just tell me what a horrible person I was, and I did this and I did that, and, it wasn't even me, and my best friend turned for me, and she didn't say anything, and the boyfriend, you know, five years we quit having sex with, didn't say anything, and the whole, just, it was so hurtful, you know, there's weeks and I didn't leave my house, and, uh, and then finally, after like a year later, they, they said the truth, and, uh, they, everyone said, oh, okay, Eric, let's be friends. No, I sat in my garage, killing myself, and the only reason I didn't shut out the car after 20 minutes was because my nephew was four, and I wanted to be part